so it's uh it's been a long time coming but here we have my vanessa most of you have seen her now but i uh, figured i'd still do a walk around video to cover some of the features and some of the stuff that's been done to it and some of the people that have helped me out so for those of you that don't know it's a 2001 honda f4i 600 cc obviously and it has just about every goodie that I could manage to get my hands on on her at this point. Everything short of a steel frame and a frame swap. Yes, steel frame, sorry. And a fork front end swap. So I don't even know where to start, but I guess we'll try and start up here at the front, at the top and go from there. So we have HC1 uh, Magura Masters, 18 on the front, 16 for the rears running through you know, Tigon into the aluminum reservoirs mounted down below my SS Moto Triple. Uh, we have an Impact Tech two finger clutch, Impact Tech clip-ons, uh, Apex brakes, brake lines, some custom sleeved cabling for the uh, throttle and the clutch as well as the brake line. A modified Harris Racing Stays supporting my gauge cluster as well as the uh, cube lights that I've designed. OEM fender wrapped in carbon fiber. Stock front end. Painted up the calipers. Uh, some Grom uh, axle sliders of all things modified to fit. DCP radiator cage. Some custom side vents that I've built for this bike and my other bike actually. Uh, coming back around to get a better shot at that SS Moto Triple. Great product. Hides away the brake reservoirs. Holds my GPR V4 steering stabilizer. And just overall looks good. OEM throttle tube, which was cut down to uh, be small and out of the way. Uh, coming back, you have a custom made tank, unknown builder. Uh, Ryan Thomas might know. Shout out to him for hooking me up. I uh, rebuilt that guy a while back. Uh, I have some video and footage of that as well. And coming back into the big the big goodies, we have a uh, CSP Cox Stun Parts dual slider cage, a steel subframe, Euro style uh, sub cage, and 12 bar. Uh, all of that is powder coated in the lollipop red. Also the step plate. Lollipop Red with HT Moto on there. 12 bars been done just black with the titanium that is still minty because, yeah, no, I haven't gotten into that yet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, full Stun Army uh, 255 rotor setup, dual R6 monoblocks on a P34. Uh, again, Apex brake lines, Yoshimura exhaust system, all the way to the front, which I've wrapped to the hatred of some people. Ah, and here we go with some more SS Moto. So SS Moto rear sets. And I've mentioned it before, but there it is, 001, the very first set that uh, SS Moto produced for the F4i. Made some custom carbon fiber heel guards, which also holds my brake reservoir and a slick little sort of setup I was happy about. The SS Moto saggy ass fix, Fox suspension, and then the fully modified battery tray um, with my switches in the side of it. This controls my uh, on-off kill, plate, starter, some other goodies. Um, if you can tell, the battery's been cut back. Everything's been simplified in the back end here. Um, all carbon fiber, all made in-house. I will go over that some more. Uh, custom cut fairings, OEM fairings. Connor was sad when I chopped them up, but cut back to give me that sort of belly pan look that I wanted. Ah, what else do we have going on here? This bike was white, so I redid all that. The NDCP radiator cage. Love his parts. I am going to be trying out a suspect radiator cage in the near future. I'm stepping back. You know, I can't... Uh, Shout out enough to people like Matthew Glasscock at Cox Stunt Parts for the, the parts and the quality of what he does and how it came out. Scott SS Moto, Six Shop, Tactical Mines, um, 
All the switching was done by Switch Styles myself. Um, you know, there's been a bunch of people in the group that have helped me out, or in my group, you know, F4I Stunt Riders, shout out. Uh, Craig Cook, Lauren Sawyer, um, geez, the list goes on. I'm just trying to think of a few people that have been involved in this. Caleb Ubonks, um, no, you're all fam. Got to redo these rear seats. Craig Cook's going to hook that one up. Uh, when it comes down to the switching, my ignition, fan, and lights have all been moved into here. Fan. Headlights. Um, that fan will run OEM as well as overrides. So once she hits temperature, it kicks on. But if I want it on sooner, I can turn it on. I'm up in Canada. No need for a secondary fan. So once that panel comes live... Then this panel has the ability and comes live. And in here we've got kill switch, if you didn't hear. Other lights, other stuff going on. I will give it a little fire at the end because you always got to. Again, all switch styles done on that. The battery and everything underneath there has been moved, uh, which accommodated the uh, license plate flip, rectifier, relocation, among some other things. Uh, let me see if I can hit this plate flip and record it at the same time. So there we have our rear plate, official CSP, and you can see my brake lights and all that other jazz. Up in there is the mechanism to do it all. Uh, the CSP st stunt frame really helped me out with the design, the battery tray, and everything um, that steel subframe made it a lot easier to do but essentially plates there brake lights there all that good stuff is there and when I don't want it anymore for you know a show we take it away brake light goes away um, the plate goes away everything goes away The reason I wanted to do this was to have that straight through seamless design on the back. Uh, you, know, you can see right through the subframe, exposes the subframe, shows off the subframe. Got the custom covers I did to fill in that gap. Still a few more things that I'd like to do um, on the bike itself. Uh, 1555 gearing for anybody who's interested. The saggy asphyx does jack the bike up a bit, so having a Something to keep it a little bit level helps, especially when you're trying to film. All the vinyl was done by myself at Switch Styles. All the switching was done by myself. Uh, yeah, the bike's come out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with the feedback I've been getting on it. Um, yeah, any questions, comments, whatever, hit me up. It's hot. I didn't really plan on doing this today, so I just kind of came out and started talking. Uh, that step plate, you know, did some HT Moto on there. And eh, what else do we got done? Oh, Matthew was good enough to hook me up with this uh, custom lower crossbar um, to clear the aftermarket uh, Yoshimura headers. Um, ran into some issues before with that, with the Kropovic and some other companies. So Matthew was kind enough to build me that and get me that extra clearance, which I was very happy about. Um, fitment, finish, cock stunt parts, SS Moto, DCP, you guys all did an amazing job. Um, I run an 18 millimeter on the front if I didn't cover that, touchy as hell, 16 millimeter on the rear. Uh, pretty, pretty uh, forgiving, the dual mono blocks and stuff. Um, I'm no killer by far, you guys know this. I can build a bike way better than I can ride a bike. But if you uh, got through watching this, you know, a little, uh, little all killer, no filler. Craig Cook. Oh, again, SS Moto all over the place. Some of my favorites down here Misguided, Cynical Productions, Cox Stump Parts, Impact Tech. You know, love you guys, love your products, love what you do. Yeah, and, you know, this is going to be on YouTube. I'm trying to maybe monetize the videos. So, you know, give me a like or a subscribe, all that stuff you got to do on there to get my channel up to snuff. Anything you want to know about, 
parts wise where to get them who built them how i built them you know how i did it something i should go over a little bit more let me know um, i got zero problem helping you out where i can um so yeah just an overall you know, i wrapped up the fox reservoir clean that up battery tray again carbon fiber this carbon fiber tail hugger had some damage uh, i filled in the sides painted the black put the striping on it clean that up uh, i think my kid decided that the deck holes should be in the in the wheels so we got a little hiding uh deadpool in there an icon kind of like that decision welded on spools for the guys who uh don't have them yeah they're welded on uh finger saver made in house carbon fiber Again, the Grom axle sliders front and rear, custom. Ricky Ryder hooked those up. Uh, wrapped forks for a little clean look. Um, yeah, you know, little touches. Still got those little OEM cups there like that. Um, you know, all these lines for the rectifier and all that have been rewrapped in my sleeving. Matthew did an amazing job on this powder. The reds lined up very well with everything. EK chain uh, with the screw type link, which is a really nice feature to have. Brand new on there. What else? Deadpool again, that was my son's uh, creation. But overall, I'm very happy with how this bike turned out. I very much don't deserve the quality of it, but I built it. So it's mine. And one day I'll ride it to its ability. So yeah, that sums up, uh, you know, the bike pretty much for the most part. We will fire her up real fast just cause I've got to end the video with a little startup, make sure she runs. And uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching guys.